Well, hello. Hello. I'm going to sit over here so that I can be on the camera. Okay. How you been? I'm good. You good? Got a big smile on your face. Yes, another day. Okay, so you're actually here for a physical and you're having some issues with a new job? Um, anxiety. Yeah, how bad is it? Oh my God, it's so stressful. Yeah. I'm a leasing manager at an apartment complex. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you get to drive a golf cart around? Oh God, yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, I have to walk Do you ever want to like go around the corner and just kind of give them a little push? Yeah, <laughs> I do. I, I do. It's, it's, it's draining. Okay, so do you get palpitations, racing heartbeat, dry mouth, blurry vision, mm -hmm. tingling, numbness around the lips, things like that? No numbness, but I get all those other stuff. The other stuff. Okay, and are you having trouble falling asleep at night? Yes. Has it affected your appetite at all? Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> all right. But I'm waking up. At two, and I won't go back to sleep till five. Well, you're definitely having some anxiety symptoms. How long has this been going on? Oh, some months. Okay, so we're going to do a full set of labs on you today anyway because we're doing the physical, right? Yeah. So one of the things that we're going to check is your thyroid because it can kind of contribute to some of those symptoms, although I think this is pretty clear that you're having anxiety. Okay. Have you taken anxiety medicine before? No. Okay. All right, so I'm going to give you a medicine that you can take every day, okay. and it should reduce the amount of anxiety that you're having. Okay. Now, generally speaking, people that experience external anxiety like this, they only seem to need a medicine for six to nine months. They don't need it longer than that. Okay. Some do, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. So the important thing is, is if the medicine is working well for you and you like the way it's working for you, you can stay on it. Okay. If you're one of these people that doesn't want to be on any more medicines, then you absolutely have to, okay. which I guess we're all kind of that way. But if you're one of these people that doesn't want to be on a medicine then there's a good possibility you won't have to stay on the medicine okay okay, okay, okay. Um, and since you've not started anything before I'm gonna start showing a low-dose medicine called Paxil okay all right okay. and take it at bedtime okay um, if that's convenient for you or you can take it during the day okay, okay perfect. so whatever works for you but we'll start you on 10 milligrams of Paxil okay. and what I'm gonna say is if the medicines working great then mm -hmm. we won't need to follow back up with you for a few months okay. if the medicines not working great you're gonna give us a call and we'll try something else okay you don't necessarily have to come right back in okay, okay. there are perfect. other medicines that we can use okay all right do you experience besides what we've been talking about any chest pains or shortness of breath uh, just a little shortness of breath, but with I'm going to pass it. Okay, with, yeah, when you with get the, anxiety. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, like when you're going up a flight of stairs or something, mm -hmm. you don't get, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And let's see, how about uh, any bowel problems other than mm -hmm. what we've talked about? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you experience heartburn or reflux three times a week or more? Yes. You do? Yes. I was wondering what that was. That's very important to know because if you're experiencing reflux three times a week or more, you're actually causing damage to your esophagus. Oh, wow. You can develop a precancerous condition called Barrett's esophagus, which can be very serious. So okay. I need to treat that for you. Okay. So I'm going to put you on an acid blocker, okay? okay. okay. I'm also going to have you blow into a bag, and we're going to do an H. pylori test and check you for a bacteria that can cause some of those symptoms. Okay. Okay, so let me order that. H. pylori breath test takes a few days to get the results back but it's a really very sensitive and specific test okay okay and if it is positive we can treat it and usually it helps okay okay but i'm going to start you on an acid blocker called omeprazole it's a really good one it's generic okay. and you take it once a day the thing to remember about it it does not work on the same day that you take it you have to take it regularly for it to work okay so okay. you can't skip it and then right. when you feel it take it because by the time you're feeling the reflux the damage is done right, right? okay all right absolutely okay good uh any urinary tract issues mm -hmm. okay now you're 40 have you had your first mammogram um, I haven't had it yet. I'm going on the 14th. I can order it for you, but if you've already planned to see yeah, GYN, you can do it. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. We'll leave that out. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. No smoking history? No. Okay, good. So you don't need a chest x-ray, but we will do the EKG. We're going to check you for diabetes. We're going to check you for kidney function problems, uh, liver problems, okay. blood count and platelets. Make sure you're not anemic. We're going to check a vitamin D level. Everybody in Houston's vitamin D is low just about. Okay, yeah. but we're going to get a level on you. Okay. Um, and we're going to check, um, check you for gout. Okay. All right, hyperuric acid levels. You eat a lot of animal products. Okay, so if you're <laughs> if you're a carnivore more than an omnivore, uh, if your uric acid level is is elevated, then we like to keep that down so that it doesn't lead to kidney problems or gout later on. So okay. we'll be looking at that. Okay. We're also going to check your thyroid, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll and do the full thyroid panel, not just the TSH. And we're okay. going to get a lipid panel, cholesterol, HDL, LDL, and triglycerides. Okay, okay. so that's a pretty standard set of tests. Okay, um, you want me to check anything else in particular? Any concerns? Mm -hmm. Family history problems? 
problems that you're worried about? No, well, I mean, not not really. I know my grandmother died of um, uh, cancer. She had um, what's what it called? Um, ovary. Ovarian cancer. Yeah, ovarian cancer. Okay, yeah. So, so you're you're going to see GYN and have your your women's exam, right. so that'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and so we've covered most of the stuff. You have a special form that your insurance wants filled out. We don't need to do that on video. Okay. Uh, can I use your real name? Brandy. I can use your real name on the video. Are you sure. okay with that, Brandy? Sure. All right, well, Brandy, that's awesome. Um, okay, so let's have a look at you here. Okay. Now, are you exercising too? I am. You I look am. like you have some muscle tone on you here. Oh, yeah, they're okay. sore too. <laughs> are they a little sore? Do you get swelling on your ankles here sometimes? I used to, not anymore. Okay, mm -hmm. I see you've got some little marks like you might have had some swelling, but it shrunk mm -hmm. back down some. Are you putting some aquaphor or something on here? Yes. Okay. All right. Do you get swelling at the end of the day? Do your ankles kind of puff up? If I walk the property a lot. Yeah. But it, it's, it, I mean, as soon as I get home and I elevate my feet, it goes down. It goes right away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you drink a lot of diet sodas? No, I drink okay. water. You drink Alkaline water. water. Okay. All right. So you're not into a lot of uh, high sodium foods no. and waters? Okay. All right. That's good. Water. Waters. Plural waters. <laughs> She's a waterer. Okay. All right. Let me just listen to your heart. Okay. Yep, it's ticking. Really? I want you to take a deep breath and hold it. Perfect. Now you can breathe normally again. Tilt your head back just a little bit. You have a little mole right there. Has that changed? Mm -mm. Been there a long time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Deep breath. Blow it out. And again. Good, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna have you lie back on the table here. Okay. So this will be a little tricky. Okay. So we're gonna do this. There you go, lie back. Bring your knees up just a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Well, a little bit more than that. Okay. okay. And put your arms at your side right there. Now, do you get any belly pains? Mm -hmm. When you eat greasy or fatty foods, do you get nausea sometimes? Yes, I do get nausea. Okay. And is that associated with the reflux that yes. we were talking about earlier? Yes. Okay. Heart over in there. Good. Deep breath. Good. You breathe normally again. You get pain down in there or yeah. over there? Um, yeah. Sometimes oh, down here? Yeah. How often? Um, not very often. Have you ever noticed that it's associated if you eat popcorn or nuts or seeds or things like that? Mm -mm. Okay. All right. Have you ever seen blood in the stool or anything like that? Okay. All right. That's fine. Sit back. Okay. Swing your legs back over this way. All right. Well, your heart sounds great. No murmurs. Nice and regular. Your lungs are clear. No carotid breweries. Breweries. No See, I need practice. I need practice with the language. Either that or I'm thinking about a brewery. Right. No breweries. Um, okay, I do have bad news for you though, and it's not super bad news, but you are technically stage one obese. Really? I know, right? Wow. Because you look, you look so fabulous. Wow, you know what? I figured I was oh, overweight. Yeah. I feel like I am. How okay, much so, are we? Well, do you want me to say we are, we are live here. Well, we're not live, but we're on again. Okay, you're 182 pounds and you're okay. five foot four. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so that puts you at 31.2 body mass index, which actually is categorized as stage one obese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me get rid of that. Yeah, you're um, so, but this is very typical for the American diet, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's not entirely your fault. It's mm -hmm. it's what we eat. We, and this has become the new normal. Sixty yeah. percent of Americans are at least o o overweight or obese. Okay. okay. So. You're not terribly abnormal as far as the population is concerned, but right. compared to what our body mass index might have been, say, if we were alive in the 60s, mm -hmm. you and I would both be thinner, right? Right. All right. So, um, yeah, I would work on losing about 30 pounds, okay. maybe a little bit more. Okay. You could do that. Uh, it would certainly uh, decrease your risk of cancer, heart attack, stroke, blood clots, okay, okay, okay. And things like that. And I think there's even a link with memory problems mm -hmm. and dementia mm -hmm. with uh, being overweight. So, okay. so uh, you're just 31.2. So if you lost about 20 to pound, 20 pounds or so, mm -hmm. you'd probably fall just into the overweight category instead of the obese category. Okay, okay. Which would be an improvement. Okay. 
All right. I think we're ready to draw some blood and do an EKG. What do you think? Yes, that'll work. All right. And then off camera, I'm going to fill out your form for you, and I'm okay. going to give you these two prescriptions. One okay. is the Paxil, the other, the other is the Omeprazole. And remember, if you're not doing well with either one, you give me a call. Okay. 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 Well, you were a lot of fun, Brandy. Thanks yeah. for letting me record this. No problem. It's good practice for me. Yes, it is. Oh, you're awesome. Thank you. All right. I'm going to turn it off now. Okay. Getting her blood work now. I did not ask your permission officially. Do I have your permission to video you for, for YouTube and my friends online? You do. I just want to make sure. Okay. And you have the the best. Oh, he didn't want to be on. <laughs> it was a, you have the best phlebotomist in the clinic, but he didn't want to be on there. All right. Thanks a bunch. You're finished. welcome. <laughs> you don't get to rehearse. Do I say my name? No. Okay. So tell us about your experience with Meta 7. Hey, it's been great. Um, lots lots more energy. Um, I was kind of in a slump and I wasn't working out and I started the Meta 7. And I'm working out. I've got more energy. I don't want to nap or get that slump during like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great. I love it. And um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. Wonderful. Do you feel jittery and shaky? Any of that kind of experience? Not at all. Not feel at all. Feel natural. Yes. Yes. Terrific. Thanks for sharing. Sure. Hey there, Dr. Gilmore fans. We have an update about Coco Skin Plus. It's the newest supplement from the marvelous mind of Dr. John Gilmore. The proprietary mix of high potency biotin, extra virgin coconut oil, and vegetable extracts is great for thicker hair, stronger, healthier nails, and softer skin. So if you notice your hair lacks luster, your nails aren't what they used to be, or your skin is dry and chapped, it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. I have personally found that it's way easier to prevent chapped lips than it is to treat them. And I used to take a coconut oil supplement for it, so switching over to Coco Plus was an upgrade for me. It was for Kelly too, let's hear from her. I used to take regular biotin for thicker hair, so switching over to Coco Skin Plus was a no-brainer. Nice. We'll put an Amazon link below, so get your 90-day supply today.